Exporting mail from world client folders to your Google Apps email. Keep in mind that this tutorial works best with an empty inbox in world client. So I suggest doing this after you have exported all of your emails from your world client inbox to your Gmail, which was covered in a previous tutorial. Then you can move your inbox emails to your trash to have an empty inbox to begin this process of transferring emails from your world client folders to new folders or labels in your Gmail account. You will have to export your folders one folder at a time. So the first folder that I'm going to model is this, um, a folder I have called Sika. I'm going to choose that folder and I'm going to move all of these emails into my inbox. So I'm going to select all of these emails and I can move them and I can right click or control click if you're on a Mac and I can copy move them and I'm going to choose inbox and I'm going to just um, move them okay so now I see that my folder has been emptied and they were transferred into my inbox the next step is to go into my Gmail account and make sure that I have disabled any mail fetcher that I have previ previously set up by going into the settings and into um, the settings tab and then to accounts and then down here check mail from other accounts using pop3 if I had a pop3 already going from before I would delete that right now I don't have one so now I don't have a pop3 so now I'm going to go ahead and create one using my email address with the g.rsd6.org typing in my world client password changing this to mail.rsd6.org and here's where I need to label my incoming messages so I'm going to choose label incoming messages and I'm going to select a label here so here's the label that I created called Sika and then I'm going to click add account and now I see that my Gmail is checking mail and hopefully all of those emails that were in my inbox are going to be transferred into my label called Sika and this may take a few minutes so after about a minute I took a look in my labels and I noticed that there are now 18 emails in my Sika label and those are the same 18 emails that were transferred from my world client so let's practice this with another folder so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my settings and I'm going to disable my pop 3 because right now it's set up to label for Sika and I want it to be labeled for a different folder so I'm going to go into settings accounts and down here I have my pop 3 I'm going to delete that and click OK now I'm going to create a new label so I'm going to check my world client and here I have one called accounts payable so I'm going to go into my Gmail I'm going to click more create new label and call this accounts payable create then I'm going to go into world client now I have all of these emails in my inbox that are from my Sika folder so I'm actually going to make sure those are all trashed so I have an empty inbox again and I'm going to go to my accounts payable folder 
and move these emails into my inbox. Copy move inbox move and now here they are in my inbox. I'm going to go back into Gmail and I'm going to go to settings again. I'm already in my settings but if just to get back there settings accounts and I'm going to add the pop three mail account again and this time I'm going to set it to label accounts payable. Add the account, use your g.rsd6.org email, next, type in your world client password, change this to mail.rsd6.org and then you're going to label incoming messages and change this to the name of the folder. So mine was accounts payable. Add account. It's going to check for the mail and it will just take a minute. And if I take a look at my accounts payable folder, there's nothing in there quite yet. So after about a minute or so, I noticed that in my accounts payable label there are now three emails in there that were transferred from my world client inbox. So you have to continue this procedure each time you want to transfer emails from a world client folder into a new Gmail folder or what they call a label.